After all, about Eve, she was on top of the world, and she thought she'd be swamped by offers. But her biggest comeback turned into her biggest letdown. So Betty decided to throw herself into the one role she'd never gotten right, <laughs> wife and mother. She married her All About Eve co-star, Gary Merrill. Betty was, to say the least, miscast. Hello, wife. Make yourself useful for once. So I've been reading about you, Crawford. Start shooting next week. Day five, I get to kick her right in the head. I can't wait. So what brings you crawling back to Hollywood? Another guest shot on a wagon train? Twilight Zone, actually. Oh, well, that should be easy for you. Our whole marriage was a Twilight Zone. You went to bed with Margot Channing and you woke up with me. So why did we stop living together again? You wanted me to start your shirts and greet you at the door with a martini in hand and ask how did your day at work go, oh, darling. Yeah. I'm the one that needed a wife. I brought you something. You've wanted it for a long time. There it is. It's all there. Gave you everything. Houses, kids, bank accounts, even the broken china. You goddamn prick! Oh, admit it, you don't want me, but you can't stand the idea of me being with anybody else. Who'd have you, you broken down has-been? You viper. You drunk. Takes one to know one. <laughs> <laughs> You know why they really broke up? Oh, it wasn't his performance in bed. It was his performance on stage. God, was Gary a stiff. And just when Betty realized her marriage was about to close, she took it on the road. But the lights of Broadway spangle, splatter. The taxis hustle the crowds away when the show is over. Let the lights of Broadway spangle. The girls wash off the paint and go for their midnight sandwiches. Let them dream in the morning sun, late in the morning, long after the morning papers, and the dream as long as they want to, or June, so... You know, she fired him from the tour, her own husband, and replaced him the very next day with Barry Sullivan. Betty had to choose. She always picked the professional over the private. 